Hi, this is Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com and today I want to show you how to use our Squeezums Soft Cream Candy Filling. Our Squeezums Soft Cream Candy Filling are a delicious, sweet, and creamy candy filling that is easy to use. All you need to do is snip the end of the bag, squeeze them into your chocolate shells, and just like that you can make cream-filled chocolate. Our Squeezums brand cream candy fillings come in an assortment of flavors. We have black raspberry, caramel, marshmallow, peppermint, but today I'm using strawberry cheesecake. You can shop all of the flavors of Squeezums candy fillings on our website at confectionaryhouse.com or you can come visit us in our store located in Troy, New York. To get started making cream filled chocolates, there's a couple things you'll need. Merkins candy coatings in milk, white, or dark, our Squeezums cream candy fillings in any flavor you'd like, a chocolate mold for filling. It's important to select a mold that's at least a half inch deep for filling. Anything thinner, it's going to be a little tricky to fill. A sheet of parchment paper. I love our silicone parchment sheets. They come pre-cut and they're not in a roll so they won't fly up at you. They'll lay nice and flat. 12 inch key seal disposable pastry bags. You don't have to use disposable pastry bags to melt your chocolate, but I find it makes it easier to fill the mold and it's mess free. When you're done with the melted chocolate, you can just throw the whole bag away. There's no dishes. If you're making homemade chocolates as gifts, you might be wondering how you should package them. We have a nice selection of candy boxes and stretch loops and these really cute candy trays. You can package your chocolates and give them as gifts and it gives them a nice professional look. To get started, place about a half pound of Merkins candy coatings in your disposable pastry bag or in a bowl. Twist the top of the bag and fold it under. Place it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. You'll do the same thing if you're melting it in a bowl. The only difference is at each 30 second interval, you're going to stir your chocolate and when you're melting it in a bag, you'll need to squish the chocolate around to distribute the heat. After melting the chocolate for 30 seconds, squish the bag around to distribute hot spots. Place it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Continue this process until the chocolate is completely melted. If you're melting your chocolate in a bowl, just make sure to stir in between those 30 second intervals. Once the chocolate is completely melted, squish the bag around and feel for any lumps of chocolate. If you have any lumps of chocolate, they're going to get stuck at the bottom of the bag. You can place your melted chocolate back in the microwave for about 10 to 15 more seconds to get the chocolate melted. Lay a sheet of parchment down onto your work surface and place your mold over top. Snip the end of the bag with a pair of scissors. Don't snip too much of the bag or else you won't have control of the chocolate. Just snip a tiny amount off the end or until it's easy to squeeze out of the bag. Fill each cavity of the mold with your melted chocolate. Once all of the cavities of the mold are filled, tap it down lightly on your work surface. Place in the refrigerator for about one minute. After setting in the refrigerator for about one minute, the edges of each of the cavities have started to set, but the center is still melted. Over your parchment paper, flip the mold upside down and dump the excess chocolate onto the parchment and shake out the excess chocolate. Turn the mold over and here you have your chocolate shells. You can also take an angled spatula and run it over the mold to pick up any loose ends that were left behind. This will clean up any chocolate on the edges so you won't have an overhang or what I like to call feet. Place the mold back in the refrigerator for about another minute or until the shells have completely set up. Once the chocolate shells have set up and hardened, you can start filling them with the Squeezums candy filling. Just snip the end of this bag with a pair of scissors. You may need to squish this bag around if it's separated. Sometimes that happens with the Squeezums and it's completely normal. Squeeze the candy filling into each cavity, filling about three quarters of the way full. You need to leave enough space to cap each of the candies off with extra chocolate so that you can seal the soft cream filling inside. The amount of chocolates that you can fill with a bag of Squeezums candy fillings really depends on the size of the mold. Once you've filled 
all of your chocolate shells with soft cream filling, you'll need to melt your chocolate so that you can top them off. Here I have my bag of melted chocolate. I've made sure to pinch the end of the bag and really massage the bag very well to ensure that everything's melted. It gets a little trickier when the bag's already been cut because you can really make a mess. So it's really important to hold the end of the bag and move the chocolate around and feel for any lumps. Now we need to cap each of these chocolates so that we can seal the soft cream filling inside. And we're going to do that by squeezing the chocolate around the edge and working our way to the center of the candy. Give the mold a little tap to spread it out. And that should seal the edges so that you don't have any of your cream filling oozing out. Continue topping off and tapping the mold for each of the chocolates. Once all of your chocolates have been topped off, place them in the refrigerator for about one to two minutes until they've completely set up and hardened. After about a minute or two, you can remove your chocolate mold from the refrigerator, start to take the chocolates out of the mold. Just carefully turn the mold over and gently release each of the pieces from the mold. If your pieces of chocolate aren't easily coming out of the mold, you may need to place it back in the refrigerator. You don't want to whack the mold down and have the chocolates come out very quickly because then your chocolates will crack and break. Your chocolates should come out nice and shiny without any streaking. If you have white streaks on your chocolates, it means that you got your chocolate too hot and the fats have separated. If your chocolates are dull and not shiny, it's probably because the chocolates were not ready to release from the mold and you took them out a little too soon. And here you've made delicious cream filled chocolates all on your own. Making chocolates at home during the holidays is a really nice inexpensive gift giving idea and you can really make them look professional too. I've put my chocolates here in one of our candy trays and boxes. They just look so pretty and professional. And you can take one of our stretch loops and place that right around the box. And look how nice that looks. It's really perfect for gift giving. You can purchase Merkins candy coatings, Squeezums candy fillings, chocolate molds, and candy packaging supplies at confectionaryhouse.com or come visit us in our store located in Troy, New York, where we have everything you need to make homemade candies. And if you give this a try and make cream filled chocolates at home using our supplies, be sure to tag us in your photos on social media because we love seeing what you make.